I keep thinking about that guy. You don't suppose he was one of those people that was after you, do you? Oh, no, I'm sure it wasn't. Well, I hope not. I would just uh, hate to think that you're still in danger. No, I don't think so. I'm just sorry it ruined such a nice evening for everyone. I feel like a hex <laughs> wherever I go. I don't think you're a hex. Hmm? It's an interesting theory, though. Maybe we should test it out. What do you mean? I think we should blow this whole place off for a while. Why don't we go on, do a little skiing. Ski. There's a couple feet of fresh powder up there. Oh, I'd love to. I really would. And then if I break my ankle, we'll know for sure whether or not you're a hex. Well, if you break your ankle, you're probably going to have to spend a couple of days in bed, and I wouldn't want you to be alone. Maybe you'd have to join me. Okay. Yes, you're right, Eve. I did it. I let Holly into the medicine closet. Why? Why would you do something like that? Because I thought it was a crisis. Holly was desperate. Oh, I see. So you'll break the hospital rules as long as somebody appears desperate to you. Oh, come on. Now, you can punish me however you see fit. Do whatever you want to me. But you can't blame Holly for trying to help someone. All right. My idea of a thrill is not turning the two of you in. I just don't want it to happen again. Promise me that it won't. It won't happen. All right. And that's it. Keep my mouth shut about it. Okay. You take the pills and go. And I'm I hope sorry. Roger was I worth never it. should have involved you in this. I'm sorry. Just go. And I hope Roger was worth it. Thank you, Lillian. I owe you. Are you alone? Listen, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'll let you go, but you're gonna promise not to run away and not to scream. What do you want? I need your help. Lucy, Alan Michael is an attractive man, but I don't think that he is anyone you should get involved with. I, I only say this because I care about you. And you're Frankie's sister. You're our family. Eleni, just because it didn't work out with you doesn't mean that it's not going to work out with me. I know, honey. I, uh, Who's that now? I'll be right back. Hi. Hi. Am I? Is he here? Yes. Hi. Hi. Great. <laughs> um, I went by the boarding house, uh, company, diner. I just wanted to tell you that, I just wanted to thank you for everything you said to me tonight. It really made all the difference in the world. What's the news? Uh, can we go have coffee someplace? Yeah, sure. Great. Got me coat. Here you go. Okay. Right. Thanks. Bye. Good night. Good night, Al Michael. Whoa! <laughs> What's that all oh, about? Oh, you. You're incredible. You are my charm. You know that? My beautiful charm. <laughs> I'm gonna put you on a bracelet. <laughs> Marina packed it in a half hour ago. I was hoping we could talk some sense into Lucy. Yeah, I kind of thought you were hoping that, but uh, well, I, want you I didn't do good. <laughs> mind set on something. I wonder where she gets that from. I'll call Frank in the morning. All right. Hey. Hey. Let's hug. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Hello. She what? Uh, yeah, I'll be right there. Uh, 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 Julie, I have to be out for a few minutes. Look, I love... You lied to Detective Cutter about how long you were in that shed. Maybe you know who was in there. And why? I don't know where you came up with that, Nessa. Don't. Don't lie to me. 
it, Roger? I need you to run an errand for me. Only you can't tell anybody. Not your friends. Not the police. Nobody can know where I am. Why not? Why should I do this for you? I need you to do this one thing for me, Bridget. Get Holly. <laughs> 